In the secret world, it's easy to find oneself jumping at shadows, seeing conspiracies where there are none. Oh, don't get me wrong. Things lurk in every shadow, but not everything adds up to a greater whole, and sometimes it's worth appreciating things that simply stand on their own. Hello, and welcome to Answers, The Unasked. Here I point out the smaller details, the things that really don't mean much in a grand scheme of things, but I think are interesting. The questions aren't asked, but there are answers nonetheless. This is not answering the questions from last Thursday. This episode is meant to stand on its own. First, I want to start with something that's all around us, but we never really appreciate. The sun. While the sun becomes far more important in Egypt and Transylvania, on Solomon Island, it's still all around us. It's just easy to miss. Like these doors. Almost every door in Kingsman has a sunburst motif over it. Every poster advertising the Franklin Mining Museum also has a sun on it. Take a stroll down Main Street and notice the Sunbeam Deli. This one might be a stretch, but it certainly looks like a sun. It isn't, but the motif is definitely present. That's hardly the only spot on this island where the motif appears. Aside from the doors in the Savage Coast, note the mascot of Atlantic Island Amusement Park. And over in Blue Mountain, by far the most obvious sunburst design appears over the door of the Franklin Mansion. While there may be an in-story reason for this, I believe it's best to just look at it as a design motif that keeps Kingsmith at least a little consistent with the rest of the game. By the time you get to other regions, you'll be well prepared to distrust the sun, even if you're not entirely sure why. I meant to cover this in my Andy episode, but it wound up being cut because it really didn't add up to anything. But if you stand here and watch Andy, you'll find that sometimes he jumps at shadows. I mean, there's certainly a lot for him to jump at, but... I've yet to figure out if there's any reason for this, or if it's just on a timer of some kind. It's alright, Andy. Moose will protect you. Models get reused for incidental NPCs, but sometimes one stands out. This guy with the literal bullseye on his chest. Sometimes you can see copies of him guarding the sheriff's office, but there's two of him that's always there. In the side quest, that will leave a mark. We find one of him trapped in a bear trap. While in the quest rolls downhill, he is mauled by a wendigo and somehow gets to the other side of the bridge before us. I think it's possible, even likely, that these two are meant to be the same guy. Just the same hapless courier who got stuck in a bear trap once and mauled by a wendigo another time. In case you get sick of Jeopardy reruns, there's still uh, something else to do in the Kingsmith Sheriff's Office. Play guitar. It looks like somebody tried to make a stand on top of the Psycoil station, but brought the wrong ammunition. Firing off only the two shells in his double-barreled shotgun before opening the can and... Oops. And if you thought us burning body parts to summon the cult leader was odd, well, it it is, but it's actually supported by environmental details, like this little skull in here. Although they're called flares, uh, these are just fireworks. Flares hang in the air, these don't. I wonder if the hippies grabbed the wrong box. Almost everything in Kingsmith is named after something horror-related. HP Arts and Crafts, Lovecraft Lane, um, Elm Street, Belmont Avenue. But I think this one stands out as special. Angel Street is named after George Gemmell Angel, a character from Call of Cthulhu. And... In a circular twist, the character himself was named after the street where H.P. Lovecraft grew up. 
Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back to my regular questions and answers this Thursday. Just needed a bit of a break. If you enjoyed this, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and also watch my Let's Roleplay series, I A to B, which is on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. If you did not like it, I mean, all your friends liked it. Don't you want to be cool?